Welcome to this instructional video on how to perform a two-plane balancing with the X-Balancer. To start the device, press the on-off button. When the device is turned on, the green LED will light. There are a total of four LED lights on the front side of the X-Balancer. The already mentioned green LED, the red LED which indicates that the battery is low, the blue that lights when your device is charging, and the yellow which lights once per cycle when the rotation of the machine is detected. At the front side of the device you'll find three sockets. This is where you connect the red mart cable which is the left channel, the blue mart cable which is the right channel and the yellow mart cable which is connected to the taco sensor. On the rear side you'll find two sockets. The left one is the DC input and the right one is for communication between the instrument and a computer if you don't choose to use Bluetooth. The tablet will be attached to the instrument by using Velcro. Here is an example of two plane balancing. To start the balancing, connect the three cables. The cables and sockets are marked with red, blue and yellow. Place the red marked transducer at a suitable location near the left plane and the blue one near the right plane. Make sure to have good contact on the magnetic surface. It is advantageous to place the two transducers in the same direction, vertically or horizontally. Now, put the magnetic base on a metal surface and turn the switch to on. The yellow taco cable is connected to this taco sensor. And the red light from it should be pointing on the reflective tape. Make sure the sensor is not moving once it's positioned correctly. To avoid balancing a rotor at a speed where it has its resonance frequency, we can use the resonance test. Start the machine and let it reach its maximum RPM. Now start the reading. Wait for the sign and then power off the motor. For the sake of this video, we speed up the process. From the tests, we can see that the angle is steady between 3000 and 1700 revolutions per minute. This means that the rotor can be balanced somewhere along this range. The results can be printed or saved as a PDF file. The spectrum analysis is a tool for showing unbalance before and after balancing for each plane. This is done to see if there is an unbalance causing the vibrations and also to compare the results obtained before and after the balancing process. VMI recommends measuring both before and after. The newest measurement is shown in the balancing report. This peak shows unbalance, because the highest vibration peak is on the same frequency as the rotation speed. If the high amplitude of vibration was at a different frequency than the rotation speed, it is advisable to examine the machine for anything other than unbalance, such as misalignment or looseness. We can obtain these measurements for both the left and the right plane. These results can also be printed or be saved as a PDF file. Before the actual balancing can be performed, the characteristics for the rotor must be determined. This is done without any balancing weights mounted. Start the machine. The rotation speed is displayed at the top of the screen. When the RPM indication has been stabilized, press the measure button. Note that if the stop reading automatic option is activated, wait until the reading stops. If not, wait until the vibration and phase readings are steady and press the stop button.
Now stop the motor and let the rotation speed go down to zero. The initial run is now complete and it's time for the first trial run. Press the close button. As you can see, the trial 1 screen opened up automatically and this is because the step by step automatic option is activated. If it's not, press the trial 1 screen. Here you can enter the proposed trial weight. For this example, we will have a trial weight of 3 grams, which is placed on the left side of the rotor at 0 degrees. Now start the machine. The measurement will begin when the rotation speed reaches the same level as at the initial run. Now stop the motor and wait until the RPM goes down to zero. Press the close button and the trial run 2 screen will appear. Also here we will have a trial weight of 3 grams. Remove the weight from the left side and mount instead a weight on the right side of the rotor. This is as well placed at zero degrees. Start the motor again. When the measuring is done and the stop sign is displayed, stop the motor. Now we have our first result. As you can see it says not ok on both sides and this indicates that the vibrations are larger than allowed. At the top of the screen you can see the recommended balancing weight and angle for the right plane and the left plane. Firstly, remove the trial weight from the right side of the rotor. This is important, otherwise the results from the balancing will be incorrect. According to the results, we need to place a weight of 4.87 grams at 55.2 degrees on the left plane and a weight of 3.06 grams at 332 degrees on the right plane. For best results, add weights in the left and right balancing planes as close as physically possible. When the weights are mounted, start the motor once again and the measuring will begin. On the bottom side of the screen, we can see that we now have a 92.92% improvement, but the results are still not ok according to the specified tolerance. Repeat the process again with the new suggested weights. Do not remove the already mounted weights. Start the motor once more.
Now the results are OK and we have balanced our planes according to the specified tolerance. The trace on button will show the path from unbalance to balance. If you need to take a closer look, use the zoom in and zoom out buttons. In the spectrum menu, we can measure unbalance like we did before the balancing process started to compare the obtained results. The newest measuring will be shown in the balancing report. As mentioned earlier, we can obtain these measurements for both the left and the right plane. The spectrum analysis can also be printed. If the print button is pressed, you can choose to print a balancing report if the PC is connected to a printer, or create a PDF file to save on the hard drive. Click the folder to decide which directory it will be saved to. If the print out button is clicked, the certificate is saved as a PDF file and will be printed. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our website vmiab.com for more information on our great range of products.